How's it going, everybody? Um, I always say it's a quick video, but we'll see. Okay, so I was just seen this video. It's about um, it's about this lady named uh, XOXO Sophia. She's a Korean YouTuber, and uh, from what I just saw, it, I don't know how long her how long her YouTube is, like her you know her uh, career as a YouTuber is. I don't really know much about her. I, I don't. I just know based off this video. So, but one thing I did see. I seen this video. It was about um she had box braids and then I guess she had backlash from the black community and then she took them off. And then we say, you know, they, you know, black community was all happy and stuff like that like like great. Glad you did your research. And um that's kind of what we want to see. Um I know people sitting there getting upset saying, you know, just let her live her best life, be nice, be happy and stuff like that. And, and my problem is just, it's not even like that, because I, we all want to be respected in a sense. You know, we all want ourselves to be honored as a person. Um, and in respect to a different culture, we want to be honored. Uh, I had I made in this post because it was just kind of, I don't know. I, I know I had to really slow down in my, in, in being so thought thoughtful in terms of racism, because sometimes it just, if you think about that stuff too much, it's just, it's going to weigh you down. It's just going to bog you down. Now here's the reason why I'm going to be sitting here saying, um, uh, he's a human being. We shouldn't bash her. We shouldn't throw it under the bus. We shouldn't sit here and cast all these, all these things on her. Uh, for people who keep saying, just let her do it. You know, let her do it. She's not hurting anybody, and that's true. She's not. But in terms of a culture, you know, you see this. This uh, hair is not straight, and so with different cultures, that includes even the African cultures, they did stuff to this. You know, they, you know, for whether you get a fade or something like that, they did stuff to it. And, um, many cultures, like, they don't have this kind of hair. They don't have this textured hair. So they have their own styles and cultures and stuff like that. In respect to African American culture, and they usually, I'm very good at just texting because my mind, my thoughts are usually better aligned. I just type it down I, as, I'm, as I'm thinking it. So I'm probably going to miss some stuff. But I mentioned also similar to the person on the internet that described the weeaboo, the Japanophile, the uh, what is, uh, is also just as bad as when uh, uh, a guy I, I'm talking to, he's he's half Japanese, half black. Uh, I can't remember what what black, but he's, he spoke on like these people called ego holes. Uh, which is ego in Japanese. It means English. So these these essentially American Americanophiles, you know, like they they love American culture to the point that they speak English, um, and they they can It's kind of like the opposite. It's like uh, it's the same thing with Japanophiles, where it's like they they kind of leave their culture and they replace it with uh, uh, this this culture that they have such a great love for, and um, with the weeaboos, they look they look strange. Uh, if I do, I call them Westaboos or something like that. Um, but either way, other culture will kind of bend in their own culture, and they will adopt the said culture that they're they're in pro and in, infatuation with. And um, with the Weeboos, they you see them wearing yukatas, you see them wearing kimonos, or you see them wearing all these things. And again, having those things aren't bad. It's just denying your culture and making it seem like you've adopted it. You are it. And Japan in itself has this this mentality of of uh, um, what is it? Uh, it's like saving face in China. It's a uh, 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 I forget what it was called, but it's like they understand who they are and they know they make the distinction between themselves and they make distinction between foreigners. So they say this is us, you know, and they and I'm sure they appreciate it because appreciate when other cultures like their culture, you know, I'm sure they do. They say, okay, hey, that's great. You like our culture. You know, we are flattered. But again, they know who they are and they know who other people are. Now, by comparison to the ego holes of the, uh, these Westaboos or whatever, they will, maybe they don't know proper English, but they'll, they'll use English a lot, even though their native tongue is Japanese. Uh, they might walk like, like a uh, or like they'll act like a um they'll try to pretend like they're American. They might dye their hair, change their color. I mean, change their voice or whatever. And because they're fair skinned already, I don't think they're gonna try to change their their color, their their skin tone. You know, they're they're um they already have this culture of skin whitening. Now I don't know if it's classism or if it's racism or anything like that. My guess it could be based on classism. I heard that. The workers went outside, got tans, while the people who are of higher class stayed inside 
And so that's one reason why they might have, like, even on the outside, have umbrellas to shield their face from getting dark. And they wear these lightning creams and creams and stuff. But um, my point is, um, this lady named Sophia XOXO, who's uh, from um, Korea, probably most likely South Korea, right? South Korea. And it, she had box braids and then... People like people liked it when she took him down, and she said like, you know, I took him down because I'm not black. And for me, uh, I don't think she should have. I just think she, I think it was the demonstration in which she took him down was great. But I think she could put him back in there because she understands and she appreciates the culture. Where she's like, I understand that me wearing them is is uh, can be questionable. But at the same time, I say if that's the case, if it can, if if the cases that you understand and the cases that you know, then I believe that the black community, I'm not gonna speak for them, but for me, I'd be okay with it because at least she not understands sensibilities. It's just like, of course, of course you can you can wear it, of course because you've shown you appreciate the black culture. Um, in the same way, um, if I seen a person who who was once a, a weeaboo who who was rocking Japanese culture and they tried to pretend they gave themselves a Japanese name like my name is a uh, hero or something like that or and then I, I just I spoke in Japanese and I said I'm Japanese and I said all these things and I made up stuff like oh I'm half Japanese so I'm a quarter Japanese you know I'm actually Japanese and it's just like dude you know who you are you know where you come from you know um it, it just it's just strange if you keep emphasizing stuff that's just like okay we did the research you're clearly not this but you keep emphasizing it because you yourself want to be that and it's just just stop just just say hey i like this culture a lot i'm a big fan of this culture it's not that i want to replace that culture but i appreciate it i appreciate it a lot and just move on from there you don't have to replace your culture why not just mix intermingle the two why not see some fellas who are part of you who why not just go there why not go to go to some of these places that that have made the um these box braids you know and what i'm just saying is uh show your appreciation and i think she showed her appreciation by putting them down you know by uh of course she of course she showed like you know this is how we koreans think and i'm gonna put them because i like them and that's great but I, and again, this is why I think I don't think that America, uh, Black America, is is so ready yet uh, in their security to to accept people who blindly wear our stuff. And why? Again, I mentioned also why why isn't it the same for for Black Americans who who wear straight hair? Well, if you can say, if you think about it, think about it way back, whites. I mean, blacks have worn straight hair to survive and integrate with a, with American culture. They this is a it's a process known as assimilation. So you assimilate to a culture you 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 kinda put your take your culture a back seat and then you just kind of integrate and do your best to be like the people, the majority culture around you. And uh and this is unless this is unless you grew up with the culture and you just again you further assimilate like that too. But it's like um it, this is what it takes, you know. This is what part of your survival method mechanisms. I mean, imagine even Japan. We have a military. Americans have a military base right next to them, you know, and we drop bombs on them, two atomic bombs. And uh, of course, you say, "Oh, Pearl Harbor again." That's a war. War is messy. War is not a clean thing. Um, and even then, that's not to sit here and say that Japan was innocent either. You know, I'm mean, should have dropped the bombs, but of course, another portion. I think it's just a whole different thing, but their past is not squeaky clean. It's not squeaky clean, squeaky squeaky clean in, in terms of their country or even their interactions with the the uh, the nations around them. You know, it's not squeaky clean. But disregarding that, um, like, is and, and I think from the same fellow I was talking to, he was saying like, you know, why did they, uh, why did they, um bombed them twice but they didn't bomb germany you know uh in world war ii i don't know that's a good question uh, from one thing i heard that uh, after the first bomb we hesitated to, to drop the second bomb we, it was just kind of like a, a a uh 
what is it, the act of impatience almost? Like, so he did that. Like, it, it's one thing because nobody has ever heard of an atomic bomb at the time with little man and little boy and fat man. Nobody ever heard of such a thing. So that's why they call it cruel bombs because they never heard of it. And, and it's not just that they never heard of it. This thing was cruel. This thing dropped and caused catastrophic damage. Nobody has ever heard of a, of a bomb. It's one thing you hit somebody, boom. You know, you got the shrapnel. You know, you got the destruction. But this bomb hit. And people even today are feeling the effects through radiation poison and, and uh, cancer. You know, so it's like you... you this thing is so massive that even what is it, the Hibakusha, the people who are affected by the bombs, they're still alive, still dealing with cancer. Sorry. And so it's um sorry, just that was just uh and it made me think of a uh, Blue Page Atomic Miss Atomic Miss Philosophy. But um my point is like yeah, um uh, Black America just ain't at that time where we where we're quickly we, I don't think we have that security yet, that, that mature security where it's like, hey, you were in our culture, good for you. You know, we know where that comes from. You know, even though it's, it's apparent that, you know, box braces is Korean, it's not really a Korean thing. You know, it's like, hey, we're just very, very kind of like protective of our stuff at the moment. And again, like when people start taking your culture and they start renaming it and saying it's, it's theirs in a sense, of course you're going to get upset. It's like someone else's idea, you know, um, even what Nicholas Tesla, uh, I, what is he? I'm not, I'm not too sure. I know he's white in, in the sense like he could be white. I'm not sure. But, um, Nicholas Tesla had his stuff, his idea, um, taken from what Thomas Edison. And, um, it just, he's been played plenty of times. I, I, I'm glad he got his recognition. Um, <clears throat> but even then for him, like, with his ideas being taken and being repackaged, rebranded by Thomas Edison, we're now we now see the truth. And now we say if anybody claims that this was Thomas Edison's stuff, we say that's wrong. So in a sense it's, it's a similar theme of cultural appropriation. Like if somebody's sitting here saying this is your thing and it's not, then we're gonna call them out and say it's wrong. Um and I don't I don't really see the problem with that. That's that's and people say, well, what about white things and stuff like that? Again, um, a portion of this is just has to do with we're both Americans, right? Americans are melting pot of plenty of things. <clears throat> so what is, um, from what I understand, um, black, some black people may uh, like, like refrigerators, air conditioners, elevators, escalators, something like that. It's just the weave. Like, so if, if we're going to sit here and, and say, you know, or what are you going to do? Uh, take this person's culture, take that person's culture. You know, what about this person's culture, that person's culture? It, then just note that in America, er, almost everybody of every culture has made something. But in this, it's just essentially um, don't take a culture and, and don't like, don't acknowledge it. You know, if I wear a yukata... I'm just going to be like, hey, thanks to this person. And again, I guess you can't really like, you might have to just go to the to the uh, the origin of who, where that came from or something like that. But it's like for me, you know, I think it'd be pretty obvious that black people didn't make the yukata. I don't think they made the yukata. Um, but to suggest like you appreciate the culture, you know, I I feel like as people say in white with white privilege that you have the privilege to be yourself. You know, we can't, we have to be associated with something, uh, with some stereotype, something. And I don't really, I, I, I blame, um, stereotyping, uh, from the media, but at the same time, I don't know. I, I blame them. I blame a uh, rapper who perpetuate black ignorance. Um, I don't know. That's that's a good question. Like, I blame it. I don't think pushing black ignorance is helpful, but I think that's just part of how the place is at. I don't know. I'm sorry. Just to give you a clear answer, I don't know. I don't have a proper answer. It's it's kind of our fault that we had perpetuated black mm -hmm. ignorance. Sorry. 
Um, and so that needs to change, you know. It's not like, and it reminds me of a, uh, what is it called? Uh, Eddie and Michael or something like that. It was it was one of the Huxtables and uh, Eddie Griffin. They made a show and they had creative differences. And one of them, Eddie Griffin, he had he he his comedy was playing off black ignorance. And the other guy, uh, Michael something, uh, he was trying to kind of carry on the the uh, the Cosby, the Bill Cosby. Um, his formula of of promoting black excellence and um i had this video kind of sort of about ignorance it was just, just kind of like ignorance you walk you work you walk in non-knowledge you work walk uninformed whether you were given the opportunity to know or not you walk uninformed and is sometimes i feel like is is necessary not so much i feel like sometimes it's necessary to walk in ignorance sometimes uh but at the same time I don't think it's helpful, you know. Um, got in other cultures like punk rock. I don't think they cared. Um, they just want to express themselves, and maybe that's acting out. Maybe it's acting out. I'm not saying it's right, but it something that's necessary to happen, you know. And so, uh, even with the fifties when they were preaching, uh, like you know, good morale, good morals, and stuff like that, and therefore the kids didn't really understand, and therefore promoted the sexual revolution. Was that any good? Maybe not, you know, but at the same time, I mean, there's, you could just pass the buck all around. Um, but uh, that's all I really have. It's just, you know, she showed her appreciation. She showed some some conservative thought um, and not so much in the political sense, but just I'm sorry, not not conservative thought. She she showed some consideration. That's the word consideration for black black culture. And because she did that, I think black people should just accept it because she shows she cared. White black people love Korean culture, um, but I don't think it's going to be the. Even though they should say suggest like you know they shouldn't, and I don't think black people have um, suggested that black people made this. Like there's some people who have say that who say that everything's made by black people, and even then I say that's wrong. But to suggest that um, when when black people suggest they they like a Korean culture, I don't think it's like, I think it's rather obvious that. It's not our culture, you know. Um, but who knows? Who can say? Um, unless you want to say, oh, you know, the first ladies in Africa, so therefore if everything came from black people. You could say that, but, you know, in terms of our perspective now, in terms of where the culture is, uh, no, I think it's just, uh, yeah, we should give props to Korea, but um, I think it's going to be kind of obvious that it's not, we don't come from that. And maybe we should give them the benefit of the doubt. But I don't think that's just where we're at at the moment. I don't know if this actually helped. Um, I think she should get appreciation from the black community. And just more love. And just like, you know, have some black people interact with her. Have some black people talk to her and say, yeah, let's get you some new box braids if you want. You know, because it's like you, you have shown to us that you appreciate us. You know. And so yeah, let's 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 throw our culture in your face, you know. Let's just give you more of that culture because you show you love us. You show you've given us appreciation. So therefore, let us accept you in. Not blindly accept you in for ignorance, but accept you because you've considered and thought about us before you have chosen. And I know that sounds insecure, but that's where black America is at the moment. At a point of insecurity and trying to find itself to grow and be mature, more mature. So that's what I got. All right.